You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Hey, stick with me, Bob. Um, I'll bring all the gear. Yeah, okay. No big deal. I just prayed that the fish are going to start jumping behind me. Everyone's gone, you know. <laughs> That's a gator. Nice one, Dad. That makes us look really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm fishing with Bob. I'm talking about it, man. Is it me? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that gator, huh? <laughs> This time around. Coming up. He's the most awarded male country artist in Canadian history and honored this past year in Nashville for Global Country Artist of the Year. From rural Alberta to traveling the world, his journey has been anything but ordinary. With 14 CCMAs under his belt, including five times CCMA Male Vocalist of the Year, Paul Brandt is committed to bringing his music to the masses. On today's show, Paul and his father Claude join Bob at Knee Lake Resort in northern Manitoba to fish for monster pike. Casting spinner baits in shallow bays really turns these fish on, and the action is non-stop. Oh, he's got it! Paul also shows Bob a little of his fly fishing technique that proves to be successful in landing seven trophy pike. He's got it! That's a huge one! And later, Bob's charging admission to an intimate concert on the deck of Knee Lake's main lodge. And did I say my love? Stay tuned because this is one real fishing episode that you don't want to miss. I don't think we could ask for a better day. Oh, oh, oh no, no, you gotta be kidding me. Bob gave me all the chances I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here comes. Can you oh. the could be a world record. You gotta love it. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Oh dude. man, way to slide that one. Oh there he's got it. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh yeah. That is a monster. The real fishing show with Bob Azumi. All right. Oh man. <laughs> what do we? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh. Oh I got one. A slabosaurus. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Man, that's a good fit. Oh, yeah. A good one. Whoa. Here he comes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, <laughs> look at that. This is what? Oh, this is all about right there. Oh, look at this. Real Fishing is sponsored by Chevy Trucks, Ontario, More to Discover, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call Real Fishing. Montana, Ian Tyson sang a lonesome lullaby. Hey folks, what an honor it was to have Canadian country music artist Paul Brandt and his father with us up at Knee Lake Resort, one of my favorite fishing destinations. We headed for Bear Lake, one of the many flyout lakes offered to you by the lodge to target some monster pike. Being early in the year, these pike will come into these shallow bays to spawn and we're hitting them during the post-spawn period. As soon as we landed, we loaded our gear into the boats and along with our guide, Ryan Suffren, we headed straight to where the fish were. What a day this was going to be. Paul and I could hardly wait to get started. I'm so wired right now, you have no idea. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this stuff. <laughs> okay there, Mr. Brant. Is it time to get serious? We're in business. I wasn't sure if it was time to get serious yet or not. It, it's not. Never is till the <laughs> host is ready. <laughs> oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Look at the size of that one. He's got your name on it. I saw your logo on his head. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Do I need to set drag oh, on this a little Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> good. All right, nice one. 
Do you like do you, do you like this place? I love this place. Are yeah. you kidding? How can you not love this now place? Now you know why uh, why I've come up here so many times. It's incredible. Here. It's just unbelievable. I don't know whether I should fish or watch. That is a nice pike. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he took man. the whole thing. <laughs> He's gone. I think what happened, he might have caught the rivet or something on the bottom yeah. of the boat. You All gotta right. be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You know what? That's it. That's it. Okay. Let's cut. go home. Let's, cut, Let's go cut. home. We're, this is no good. <laughs> this is a guarantee right here. There we go. Watch this. Okay, we're gonna bring him right to the boat. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you think? That's great. It's called it's called these things are actually a member of Actra, the Pike <laughs> Actra. <laughs> and they're not on a break right now. Yeah, no, they're they're not uh not on coffee break time. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like leading them right up to the boat yeah. like that. Now you cued them, that is nice. I think we are going to have a good day today. This is looking good. <laughs> you know, I love to do any kind of fishing, you know, as long as I'm out spending a day fishing. You know, a lot of guys, they, they play golf, and, and I like to do that a little bit. But for me, um, recreationally, if I can spend a day fishing, it's the best. I grew up, you know, close to the Bow River, and you know, we did, you know, just a lot of trout fishing and, you know, fishing for whitefish, you know, just as long as you're out for the day up close to the mountains is, is best. And um, it was, a, you know, a really cool way to grow up. Well, even if you don't catch fish, fishing's always fun, but, you know, this helps, right? <laughs> it helps. <laughs> In my line of work, it helps immensely. <laughs> More with Paul Brand from Knee Lake when we return. Closed captioning is brought to you by FNCC and VoterExam.com. You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. My dad was an avid fisherman. I can remember my dad coming home from work four or five in the evening, and especially in the summertime, packing us kids up because my mom worked evenings. And off we'd go to the river and we'd fish till midnight. There was times he'd actually light a fire and, and fish until, you know, it was just time to go home. So um, I grew up by the river, literally. And uh, when I got married and had children, I, I would take my wife and kids down the Bull River and we would fish for trout and whitefish and uh, just kind of something that always stuck in our family. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh it's a nice one. <laughs> Country music star Paul Brandt with his new fishing show called <laughs> Unreal Fishing. Uh -oh. oh. There he is, they're stalking us. We're surrounded. I'll write the song about this later. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pike in here, Ryan. Oh, here he comes. He comes. He's there got it. Go. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. I don't think he's a big fan of your music. You <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not ready to go country yet. I'm a city fish. Beauty. That was a nice fighting fish. Yeah, I can see why he keeps coming back here. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's coming. Ooh. Oh, he got one. There he oh. is. Oh. There he is. Oh, oh he yeah. nailed that. Oh. <laughs> Still early. Don't be disappointed, Paul. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I think Claude's got himself a horse. I was away in Nashville for nine years, and we just didn't get to see each other a ton, and this is just a blast. It's so cool. Keep her tight. So when was the last time your dad and yourself got out fishing anyway? The last time we were out was uh, at Campbell River fishing the Pink Salmon Run. Just recently? Last September. Fly fishing. It's great. All right. That's a gator. Nice one, Dad. All right. Perfect. That makes us look really bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad. Great. Nailed it. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> he did a cartwheel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this bike is definitely a prize fighter. He's buried in the mud. You know, they, they, all these fights, they, they have different attitudes. Some of them will just lay there and, and not hit. Others will just chase and hit anything with a band. It's just really where they all have different personalities. And I have to admit that 
That's what makes it so exciting. This fish here definitely had an attitude. Another day That's at the nice. office, Paul. That's a nice one. Another day at the office. Do you like my office? You know what? Thinking of changing professions. Oh, uh, no. We, we already got too many fishing show <laughs> out there. We could always use more country music. I, I got an idea. You could just come out on the road with me. All we'll right. find an extra bunk. I and, see. Uh, you know, just fish during okay. the day. Okay. But well, are you going to sing? Well, here's the deal. Okay. I'll be your, your personal guide for fishing, but I want the motor home, the nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can make an arrangement. Located 400 miles north of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Knee Lake Resort offers its guests an experience of a lifetime. The resort features 13 luxurious waterfront log cabins and an 8,700 square foot main lodge. With first class service all around, this is one fishing destination that you don't want to pass up. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. Well, it's that time of the year. It's the middle of summer, and guess what? I look like a reverse raccoon. I take my sunglasses off. I go into the bank or gas station or restaurant, and inevitably, during the day, people say, you've been wearing your sunglasses, haven't you? Well, thanks for telling me. Anyway, folks, I want to talk about polarized sunglasses. I don't fish without them. I remember years ago forgetting my sunglasses and fishing all day out there in the hot sun and the glare off the water gave me a severe headache. The other reason is for seeing fish and seeing different types of obstacles. Pike fishing is a good example in the spring of the year. We'll go into the far north looking for pike in shallow clear bays just after they spawn and we'll sight these big bruisers up and I'll tell you what, it can be a lot of fun. So get yourself a good pair of polarized sunglasses and I guarantee you'll catch more fish. One of the, my favorite things to do, I think, is uh, is hosting the Canadian Country Music Awards. Um, it's in front of 70 million people, and it's live on television. And um, there's just there's just such a huge thrill of being in front of an audience. Your host, Paul Brand. Yeah, you know your place in life when he says, we'll sign you a bond. <laughs> <laughs> i got to say, this is such a huge honor to be here with you today. Isn't it fun? This is great. I'm having a blast. Stay tuned. We'll be right back fishing with country music star Paul Brand after this. Paul, would you like another spinner break? Yeah, I'd love one. Thanks. Good. Sure. Sure. Make 25 bucks, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View. Sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. There are many different side pleasures in the sport of fishing. One of the most enjoyable of these is fish watching. Not only is it great entertainment, but educational as well. And it's something the entire family can participate in. Even better, it's cheap fun that doesn't require any special equipment, other than a camera, perhaps. The best locations to experience this level of viewing is at natural or man-made obstructions. Fish movements are slowed or blocked, and things really pile up at times. Because fish are vulnerable and protected in these situations, a sign like this is a good indicator you found a good spot. Even so, timing is critical. As in fishing, being at the right spot at the right time is critical. Basically, it's spawning runs of fish you're targeting, and each species has its season. Walleye, for instance, run for a week at most in late March to early April, just after ISO. Salmon run in the fall, September through November, and offer the longest window of viewing opportunity. To be absolutely certain, give your local natural resources office a call. Explain your intentions, and they'll provide you with accurate, up-to-the-minute information. Recently, fishing itself has evolved into a spectator sport. Capitalizing on this, communities have actually constructed viewing platforms where it's standing room only to see anglers in direct competition with fish and one another. Look at 
that? Whoa. He has got a big one on. Good spot, man. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you, Paul, when you're traveling around, you know, playing concerts, do you get a chance to fish much? You know, I, not as much as I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to do it a lot more. I think I'm going to have to throw the rod in the in the bus, you in know. the tour bus, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Well, you, I just love it. You've got a trophy pike on right oh, now, man. and I'll tell you, it's, isn't it great getting up here? It's I absolutely mean, amazing. you got a pretty hectic schedule. you got your own recording uh, company yep. now, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, no. you are got to be kidding me. How does that happen? How big was that fish? <laughs> don't tell me. I don't want to know. 40 some odd inches. That was the biggest you've had on this Oh, trip. man. And he took it, too. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, my. I do believe there is. Oh, I got the other one. <laughs> you got the other one. <laughs> Oh no, I got a little one and there's another swirl right there. Oh man. I do believe there's a master angler here. Whoa. You can worry about it. If you want to grab his fish. Yeah. Yep, no, no I'll problem. just bring him around over here if you want. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'll bring him to the other side. We can put this one in the net. Look at there. That is a big one. All right. <laughs> oh, here, I'll get the bait of that one. Yeah, no problem. That is, I think, a master. That's a big one. Okay. Nice fish. Yeah. Look at that big old duke. 44. 44, and it just bent this Premier Plus like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> All right. There it goes. All right. After dinner one evening, Paul treated us to a concert right on the deck at Knee Lake Resort. Fishing holes and skipping rocks down the railroad tracks. We talk about girls and cars and hopes and dreams. The way our lives would be. And we swore we'd never change. We would always be. I've been around the world, don't matter anywhere I go. Even here in Knee Lake, I found my kind of folks. And I'd go fishing with Bob Azumi on TV. If this is all I ever have, well, that's okay. Cause I'm a rich man. This is just an incredible spot. You know, I've had had the time of my life, had the opportunity to bring my father along on this trip as well, and um, we've made some really great memories here for sure. Oh, baby, this thing is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Incredible. There's more monster pike action still to come, right here on Real Fishing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Switching up, we headed to Utic Lake, another flyout destination offered by me and home to the future site of real class Utic Lake Lodge. Utic has produced a number of giant fish over the past few years, and this year was no exception. Guide Rick Law took Paul and I straight to a bay where there has been quite a few trophies caught, and it wasn't long before I tied into one of them. I got some serious uh, issues here. It's taking some line. Big, big pike on here, folks. Uh, Paul and Rick and I are looking around. All of a sudden, one starts to swim away. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a log? No, that's a fish. Yeah, I thought it was a log. <laughs> Didn't you think it was? Yeah, it's huge. It threw a nine-inch Houdini shot at it. Look oh, at that. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Are we having fun yet, Bob? Oh, man. Come on in. Man. Come on now. That is a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a master angler. <laughs> I, think, I, I don't think there's much doubt there. Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check that baby out. Where are we at? Oh. <laughs> 
All right. What See it? Come on back. Man, this is just incredible. There you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> there. Check you. that bait out. I'll show you that bait later. Wow. Our guide's shaking here. Uh oh, he's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Look at that gator, huh? Incredible. <laughs> All right. Well, 48 inches. Congratulations. Back on Bear Lake for another day, we got a taste of Paul's abilities as a fly fisherman trying to tease up a few trophy pipes. Woo wee <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Keep going. Keep going. Here we go, here we go. Come on, eat it, eat it. He's got it, that's a huge one. That is huge. <laughs> We're gonna chase this one, okay, Paul? Sounds good. That one is, Okay. that one is big. Oh yeah, that is a big one. That's a big one. I think uh, we're talking net on this one. Paul, you talk way too much. Man, I'm concentrating. Are you? I know, you, you've been wanting a trophy since you got up here and this absolutely. is it. Absolutely. Well, you've got a lot of trophies since you've been here, but this is absolutely <laughs> a gigantic pike. Well, you weren't that quiet last night. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I was singing last night. I'll be singing once we get this guy in the boat. Go on up front, I'll get your tools. Get them right in the front of the boat, that'd be awesome. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you, my brother. All right. Good stuff. But we are going to save all that action for another real fishing show. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Look at this. Wow. Hey, folks, don't take our word for it. Head up to Knee Lake Resort in northern Manitoba and cast a few lures for some of these giant gators. I think you'll be glad you did. This trip has been uh, a highlight for both of us. Uh, I never ever dreamed I'd be fishing with Bob Zumi. <laughs> it's, it's definitely going to be uh, something that's impressed a memory in our minds for forever, I think. I'd heard a lot of things about Bob before I came to do this show, and most people told me, you know, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go out with him. And no, no, I'm just kidding. It's been just a huge honor. Um, Bob's a great guy and a lot of fun, and, and uh, this has been a thrill of a lifetime for me to get a chance to do this. Are we talking dueling pike here? Dueling pike. <laughs> there he is. I've never actually swallowed a pug while I was singing before. This is kind of cool. Oh, my. Look at that. Thanks to Paul and his Good father, job. Claude, for joining us on this unbelievable fishing adventure. We hope to do it again real soon. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. If I can prove that I can handle this one, will you let me use one of those later? Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. Wow. That is a fish of a lifetime. Well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That was too cool.